Hi folks, in today's video I'm starting my new series on grounding. In my last video I completed my series from Big C Winter Conference on powering passive optical networks. The link's at the end of this video. Today I'll explain what a ground is, list their many types, and suggest why they're used. So, what is a ground? It's simply a point of reference which all other potentials are measured to. Without two points at different potential, the concept of a ground is meaningless. Convention place the potential of zero volts at the node in the circuit designated as the ground. Another way to think of a ground is the place to which all current returns, and I'm talking about whole flow here, not electron flow. Grounds have as many uses as they have forms. There are earth grounds, chassis grounds, and signal grounds for both analog and digital circuits. There are virtual grounds, soft grounds, and hard grounds. There are capacitive grounds, high resistance grounds, and low resistance grounds. There are even floating grounds. Ground maps are schematics showing all ground paths and are used to control the current flow in single point ground systems, mesh ground planes, ring ground loops, and three dimensional horizontal grid grounds with vertical ground rods. As you can see, there are many types of grounds. So, besides their use in measuring potentials, what are grounds good for? In electronics, grounds are used to protect the device from humans and their electrostatic discharge, as well as to protect the humans from the device and possible electrical shock. In communications equipment, grounds are used to reduce or eliminate noise, whether it be differential mode or common mode, or induced fields or radiated fields. In buildings, grounds protect against lightning strikes, which can cause fire or physical damage. Grounds are also used extensively in environments where humans may be at risk, like in a substation or a factory. There's a science to creating proper grounds with many details that, if done correctly, will result in outstanding results. If implemented without design or ignored entirely, damage or disaster is likely right around the corner. In subsequent videos, I'll detail each of these grounds in detail. Be sure to tune in. As always, if you'd like help engineering your power system with proper grounds, please give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.